Hi folks, it's Josh Kurieski once again. Today I'm talking about evolutionary design. What is it? It's an extremely important part of being agile. So, look at these guitars over here. Look at the very first one. Do you notice that it's not quite a fully functioning or fully uh, finished guitar, right? It's primitive. I would call it a primitive whole. It is a complete whole instrument, right? It's not some strings here, a body over there, and the head part somewhere else, right? It's actually been integrated into a whole, and it works. It's just very primitive. We can take that and we can evolve it, right? You could look at that first primitive whole and say, okay, this is where we started with. Let's get feedback from people. Let's figure out what's the most important thing to do next. And then you evolve it. And as you see, the second guitar is a little more sophisticated. The third guitar, much more sophisticated. And finally, we get to the fourth guitar, which is pot potentially our finished product, right? It's all gone through lots of feedback and changes. The secret of evolutionary design is starting with a primitive whole. To do that, you have to say no to a lot of things. For the primitive guitar, we said um, only two strings, not six. We said no tuning pegs, no frets, no saddle, no sound hole. None of that's there. We said no to a lot of things in order to arrive at a primitive whole. We also made sure that we didn't have a team building strings and a team building the body and a team building the head all working separately and not integrating their work. We had to integrate. Evolutionary design helps us manage collaboration risk and integration risk. How do we collaborate and how do we make sure we're integrating? It's an extremely valuable practice. I welcome you to ask questions about it here or research it more. Evolutionary design, very important to being agile.